Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Billionaire run Villarreal, Almeria and Valencia in La Liga near mixed fortunes, all billionaire own Villarreal, Almeria and Valencia, listed from top to bottom in the table, are nearing a definitive ban in La Liga, with their campaigns on the razor s edge, overseen by businessman Fernando Roig, a shareholder in a supermarket chain, who has made a name for himself in ceramics, Villarreal is under pressure to qualify for European football, and further down Turkey Al Sheikh, the head of Saudi Arabia's Entertainment Authority, faces a challenge to keep Almeria in the division to keep, as does Peter Lim at Valencia, where he is unpopular with fans. Aside from determining success, whether or not each team achieves its goals, will have other implications both financially and operationally. So let us take a closer look at each club's situation. A little over a third of the season away from the end, across the continent net highly regarded, and with a modernized stadium. Roig runs a dynamic football company in Villarreal, a small town of around 50,000 people. On the field, the momentum slows down a bit. Luckily for some, the number 7 is becoming the norm for the team. The yellow submarine is a decent bet to finish just outside the top 6 for the third year in a row. Currently, the team cannot shake off rivals Real Sociedad, Real Betis and even Rayo Vallecano, to pose a threat closer to the top of the standings. Given their respected reputation in Europe with the Europa League title in 2021, and a run to the Champions League semi-finals the following year, the side are not realizing their full potential in the league. Against this backdrop, former Barcelona coach Quique Cedian has yet to prove himself at the Estadio de la Ceramica. Sneaking into Europe must be the minimum goal, especially if Villarreal are looking to hold on to homeland hero Pau Torres, whose contract expires next year. All in all, this would symbolize a decent achievement and earn more money to enter another continental competition. However, an eighth grade or worse would mean a departure from his high standards. Absent consistent performances, Roy the minority owner of Spanish retail giant Mercadona, will be looking for new leadership to ensure Villarreal is among the best in the country. Villarreal's next league opponents are the unassuming Almeria, a team with more educated expectations. Near the relegation zone, results have vacillated from the ridiculous 6-2 defeat at Girona to the stellar results after Barcelona fell to leave the title race still in the balance. Avoiding relegation would be a win for the Andalusians. After winning funding to even compete at this level, then there is Valencia, who are in jeopardy in risking second division football for the first time in almost 40 years, unless they can climb the table by the summer. Its main problems stem from an unreliable sports schedule under owner Lim with protests against the magnate intensifying of late. While fans would prefer to see a team thrive in La Liga, they know it doesn't matter much to disrupt the top-down structure, if you just stay afloat for another year, which means it s doing well is in a particularly awkward situation. In fact, it may take something more dramatic like a relegation or even more emptying the Stella spots for things to change.